Hello, so this is a video on how to use this BT Hub as a switch on a different subnet to the default that you're given with it, which is on the one subnet. So what I mean by that is the subnet default is 192.168.1.254. So the 254 is the default to get into this actual hub but the subnet is defaulted to one now if you go in and try to change that why you might want to do that so i want to use this on a separate system which is on a subnet two network so i want to make sure that any port or wi-fi that i connect to this connects to the subnet two not the subnet one because that's insecure so how do you do that? Now normally you'd be able to just go into the settings of this, go into the DHCP, ideally turn the DHCP handout to off and then give this a static IP on the .2 subnet. So 192.168.2.50 for example. Now as soon as you do that, this system will hang. It's not designed to allow changes on its default subnet. Now, how do you do this? So basically what happens is, if I just show you here, the trick is, if I show you the reverse, now here you can see the blue cable. Now that is just connected to a PC or a laptop, whichever you want to use to configure this. And on the far left on port four, in this case, is the connection going in to my router. So you can call the yellow cable the dot two subnet if you like. So what I want to do is basically have the IP of this router on the dot two subnet and then the three other ports, anything connected to that or via its Wi-Fi should get a dot two subnet IP address given by the router that sits above this. Okay, so what we need to do is, if you haven't already, just reset this machine. All you have to do is shut it upside down. There's a reset switch just there. You just need to put a safety clip or something quite small in there. Leave it for a few seconds and that will reset. Then what you need to do is take all the cables out, so these two in my case, and only connect the one that has the connection. So in my case, that yellow cable is the one that I would have. So that is connected to my other router, which is on the subnet too. So just connect this in to the system, not anything else. In my case, I would take this blue cable out. Now I'm not going to do it in this case because it's going to drop a lot of connections but if you just imagine the blue cable isn't there. Now all you have to do is just turn the machine back on and what it will do it will just default to basically bridging the connection. So it will go on to a dot two subnet and then anything that you connect to this via ethernet or wi-fi cable will get a dot two subnet IP which is perfect, which is what you want. Now, if you then want to go into this system, here's the key part. The trade-off is that you need to keep the default settings. As soon as you go into this system, which you basically do by taking the yellow cable out and only having the blue cable in my case, so have one cable connected to the PC and this router, and then go on IP address that it's given, the trade-off is that you can't change any settings. Soon as you do that, it will revert back to its dot one subnet, and then anything that you've already connected to this will drop its internet connection. So there's a trade-off here. So either use it with its default settings, but you can change the subnet if you do what I've told you, or you change the settings, but it must stay on the dot one subnet. So hopefully you find that useful. Any questions, please let me know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.